Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? I was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contracts. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I, I, I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Yes, hello? Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. What? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father, but uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valadilen. Yeah, I know. It's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please. I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent the... Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate!
Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. Have you logged my first and last name? Perfectly. Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. Me too, uh, Model XZ2000. Please, all my friends call me Oscar. This fad for cryptic names is such a bore. Could you imagine being called by your passport number? I suppose not, Mr. Oscar. Sir. When you are complete and totally functional, can you help me gather information about Hans Vorlberg? I'm afraid I can't, Kate Walker. Duty calls. Once I've recovered my feet, I have to see to my post on the train. It's waiting for its engineer. Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course. He created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker. But I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But, Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Do you know Momo? No, Kate Walker. You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh, I think so. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Vorlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds, to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Vorlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are Model XZ-2003. My feet are Model XZ-2005 underscore B. Be careful. The Model XZ-2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card, on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Oscar, I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker.
This thing's jammed. Oh my gosh. Invoices, invoices, more invoices. I never knew the factory was in such a bad way financially. These last two years must have been very hard for Anna Vorlberg.
Doesn't look like that works.
The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. I need a key. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Good morning. You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. No point, it's locked. Good morning. Oh, please.
Draw mammoths for Momo? Ah, oh, Momo, it's you. You scared me. What are you doing in here? Momo want Mama's picture, like Han's picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw Mama's for Momo. <laughs> you don't give up easily, do you? You remember me, don't you? I'm Kate. Draw mamas for Momo, please. You must find me a bit rude turning up places uninvited where nobody knows who I am. <sighs> See, it's kind of my job, you know, to get involved. But don't mind me. Just carry on with what you're doing. Momo not mind. Anna kind. Never angry. That's right. She won't be angry. Not now. You're a sweet kid, Momo, but I can't draw, least of all, mammoths. Draw mammoth easy. Hans draw mammoth. Anna draw mammoth. Kate, too. I mean, maybe I could do a quick squiggle of a box, say, that has a mammoth inside. No, Momo want a real mammoth. <laughs> My goodness, you are one stubborn boy. There's something I'm looking for, but I don't quite know what. I need a clue, anything that might tell me where Hans is. You want to help me, don't you? First, you draw mammoths for Momo. And if I help you, you help me, right? Mm, Momo no. Kate is kind. Kate draw mammoths for Momo. Then Momo tell Kate secret. You've got a secret? First, draw mammoths for Momo. Do you know if Anna came here often with Hans? Momo want Mama's picture, like Hans' picture. Tell me, Momo, I met someone real interesting in the factory, a kind of robot called Oscar. Now, he told me about a train. Anna didn't tell you where it was going, did she? Train! Train! Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Woo! Momo, Momo... It's okay, it's okay. What's going to happen to you now that Anna is gone? Momo big now. They want Momo live at inn. Momo don't want. Momo take care of Momo. From what I've seen, you look pretty resourceful. Tell me, Momo. Did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. 
automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. You lived with Anna Varlberg, didn't you? Maybe you can tell me a secret or two about how automatons are made. Anna not want Momo in factory. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Thank you. Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate. No need to go.
There you are, Momo. This is some walk you've taken me on. I've got to say, though, it sure is mighty pretty. Momo come here often. Momo like make splash in water. Because of you, Momo, I look more like an explorer than a lawyer now. If Dan could see me, I don't think he'd like what he saw. Momo don't know Dan. Why have you brought me here? Mammoth doll in cave. Very important for Hans, Anna say. Cave? What cave? Where? Momo not liar. Right. Now we're here. What do we do? Kate and Momo throw stones in water. Momo, we're here because of the cave. Something to do with the cave. Momo and Kate, friends. Tell me, Momo, do you really think that after all these years, Anna's brother is still alive? Anna always say hands go away, but hands come back, maybe. Tell me, Momo, I met someone real interesting in the factory, a kind of robot called Oscar. Now, he told me about a train. Anna didn't tell you where it was going, did she? Train! Train! Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Woo! Momo, Momo, it's okay, it's okay. You are a strange one, Momo. I'm beginning to see why Anna Varlberg liked you. Momo, he... Mm, Momo look, look like Hans. Momo very proud. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo, did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. You lived with Anna Varlberg, didn't you? Maybe you can tell me a secret or two about how automatons are made. Anna not want Momo in factory. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Ah, that must be broken. I've got to get a helping hand here. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um, Momo strong.
I could use one of the oars from this boat as a lever. But how am I ever going to get a hold of it? Ugh, that oar is all dirty and wet. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me? Momo say yes. That looks broken. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo, this... Can you help me, please? What do? I need a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong. Strong. Thank you, Momo.
Hello? Kate? Is it you? Well, yeah. Who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's Europe like? You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Oh, the whole case is getting really complicated. There's this surprise air I've got to find. I know. I talked to Lynn, who bumped into Joss, and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're going to be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Farrah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute mayhem. You know that blue silk top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250? 200? A hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> Just get yourself back here and I'll go down with you. <sighs> like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. Thank you.